what is up everyone this will be my briar jungle video and i'm gonna go over everything you need to know on how to play a briar jungle so here i'm gonna just get the jack skill because when you're greedy you're just not gonna have a good time against briar jungle and that's just a simple punish on level one but let's get back to the important details so for briar jungle i've been doing lethal tempo a lot i think it's really good build wise there's two flexible builds that i found success on number one is to just go blade in the rune king into collector Number two, if you don't like Blade of Rune King first, going into Titanic has felt quite strong into, you know, your typical build afterwards. Also with the Collector, because I think Collector second, even after the Nerf's next, the Nerf's next patch is still extremely strong. So I recommend continue building it for that early level two or early two item spike. So here you're going to start W level second. Ideally, when I play Briar Jungle, it doesn't matter who I'm playing against. I always play to farm. Like sometimes you just relax, having a good time. This is what's so great about her. It doesn't really take much you know, like much finger actions. You can just kind of enjoy your time here and just relax while you're farming. And what's really important is to not get baited by bad plays early game because when she falls behind, she really falls behind when it comes to clearing her jungle. Her first clear is the most annoying in the sense because it, it, it gets extremely fast later on, but her first clear can make or break you. So you want to make sure you're playing very conservative early game. There may be some plays you could do as Briar Jungle, but ideally you plot, you play to farm. So here, E into wall, always important. Always know how to utilize your E. When farming, just use it, you know, at the start of your clear or at the end after if it comes back on cooldown. Level three, you are decently strong level three, but your damage without two points to W is really low. So if it's not a one shot play, then you're going to struggle a lot. So here, when I'm clearing his Briar Jungle, I always think about the jungle matchup. Silas Jungle. He's like a level 3 jungler, but he's not going to win 1v1 against me. I'm more afraid of something that's really strong early. Cheese like Graze or like Nidalee. In this situation, I just continue farming. I'm queuing. I'm using my E. I'm waiting for my... I always wait a bit and then E and then use W after because you're going to be locked out of using your E if you W right away. Here I smite my blue and I just play for that level 4. Great thing about full clearing is, you know, you can be really stupid after your full clear and you're not going to fall behind that's what's really great about it and a lot of you guys i know you're gonna make mistakes and if you make a mistake while you're level three and you have half your jungle to farm still you're gonna be really behind you don't want that as a briar jungle some junglers it's not as like bad but on briar it's extremely bad so here i play for the full clear i hit this because i saw the ward here and i want to clear the wards and i'm not doing anything crazy i just get the crab i'm okay with river fights if i'm level four and silas comes into river i will want to win one we you win 1v1 most champions especially with lethal tempo lethal tempo is really good in the long fight so it's really good early game especially if someone tries to try to fight you for a long time early game it's going to be very effective so i'm going to show you is since we solo raptors you can do this level five kind of clear where after raptor solos it's going to be back up at four minutes because we soloed it it's our first camp they will always be back at the four minute mark so what we do instead of basing after crab is we go straight to our raptors what we're doing is a power farm clear here so we're just prioritizing heavily and farming and here i see that silas may not have gotten the crab yet so i just want to peek the crab fast i may even just hit the plant here just to see if he's gotten the crab or not if he hasn't already then we can one shot it if he did then i know he's his clear is one camp behind me. So he didn't clear his full clear. He did a half. He's he's missed one camp just reading CS wise. So here we're going to just play to finish our full clear. And this is what I really enjoy. If I'm able to get this. This just full. Solo Raptors level 5 clear. I'm really happy. And now this is when you can start taking more aggressive plays. There are situations where I could have done for like a level 4 gank. But I'm not forcing any ganks right. That's an important thing about what I'm doing and how I play is I'm not forcing plays. I saw bot lane. It didn't look like a gank. They ended up dying after anyways, out of our control, right? That's not in our control to do anything about that. But I never forced a play that looked bad, right? So I just kept farming and farming and the farm never ran out. Ran out. And now we're level five with a good buy and we're ready to take on the map. And ideally, I really want this Void Grubs. You have to understand lane matchups when it comes to Void Grubs. Top matchup looks quite good for me. Mid matchup looks relatively even, which is fine. And here I'm going to play for the Gromp. And then after this, I'm going to look into Dragon or Void Grubs. If you play heavy around farm and objectives and kills afterwards, on Briar especially, you're going to notice that you're going to be winning a lot more games. And you have to play heavily around your item specs. I think Briar needs items really bad. 
especially after a lot of her nerfs in the past. So what you do is prioritize playing towards it. So here we're going to use this. My charge void revs are up in 10. I'm okay with trading the first void for, you know, potentially a dragon. In this situation, I think it's just fine for us to do dragon. Because Silas jungle is really not a jungler to have a lot of tempo, I would say. And what I mean by tempo is to be able to clear all your jungle and be ready to fight. Most likely if he's trying to fight us here, he hasn't cleared any of his jungle. So he's going to be in a bad position. This situation is a situation where I think the dragon is just a really good option for us to take right now. Especially with crab coming up too. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to eat here and push them back. It would have been perfect if we were able to capitalize on that dragon. It was such an unlucky time. I needed Zealing to help kill us. We didn't have smite, so that was a bit awkward. It was so perfect until it wasn't. Problem is there, I actually don't have my W to lock on. We don't have our W and Q together. Because if you Q, you can lock on to guarantee the damage. That's just a very, very sad sequence. But the good news is the game is still playable. Because we're about to get six on this and Void Grubs are still up for us to take. So I'm pretty happy with Void Grubs. I think this Annie might move towards us because she's she's looking like that. I think we can't actually kill her, but we can fight her here. Beautiful. There I was eating because in preparation, I think see it. he's dead he has no flash there i was just seeing if he was gonna keep running that's so funny my w actually got distracted there because alawi put down her thing and i actually started hitting the clone instead of the real silas there but it all worked out in the end we're in a really happy situation here i'm gonna finish the void grubs and then see if i can help her ideally i'm playing more towards just getting out here but i think he's quite low so maybe we can kill him He's not low at all, so I'm just going to ward and back up. And in the end, it all works out. We lose the dragon because ugh, unlucky. You just get unlucky sometimes, but it's not the end of the world. Like I, because of how well we've been farming, as you can see by this game, like look at the style of CS. It's not the end of the world. This is the benefit of being, you know, we're in a farm jungle meta where farming has has to have priority in your mind. It doesn't mean you don't gank. I have more key AP completely than this other person. But I've just been prioritizing getting the farm. And if I'm not, if the gank isn't really free, where it looks super good, I'm not taking it. I'm not going for a heavy risk. That Annie, I waited for her to walk all the way in W range before I went on her. If she walked this way, I would never have went on her, right? So I identified right away, you know, how I wanted to play that situation. Oh, I should have not smite. I forgot smite against them. These sort of minions and monsters aren't going to do much damage at all. If he dashes in, he's dead, by the way. I'm just curious if he does. He's not going to dash in because he's not that much of a lunatic yet. But this game, I'm just happy with my farm. I'm on a deep ward to see the situation. I'm gonna kill him now. I'm gonna kill her too there. Yo, Lulu, you want some? Huh? You want some, you little purple rat? Come here. I'll, I'll give you something, Lulu. I'll give you something good here, all right? This may be stupid, but I just felt like doing something I, for you. I'm gonna have to flash here in a second. Thanks, come on, ulti. You're not gonna hit that. I never get hit by these arms. I'm literally unhittable by Jinx ultis. Unless I'm target focused on crap and here I'm about to die to Jinx ulti. Three, two, nope. Never mind. Alright, I'm too healthy now. So we heal up quickly. And I mean quickly right after that. Ooh, I would love to take you out for dinner right there, Silas, but unfortunately I have so much gold, so I have to just base. And here I'm just in an amazing situation, so I'm happy I just get Blade of the Ring King. Boots are a bit weird. <laughs> This game, they have a lot of crowd control, so we do want Merc Treads, so I'm just going to get the Null Magic because I have nothing else to buy. Generally, your boots, you're going MR boots or armor boots. 
but if it's a really like AP mid, AP jungle, CC crowd, like if it's just AP mid, AP jungle, generally you want the MR boots because most likely you're going to be facing these two on the map the most. And this is the most important thing to do when you look at boots. Second, if you want armor boots, you have to look at auto attack. You don't look at armor boots and think about like... Sorry, one second. I think I'm about to dance here a little bit. I have E, so I can just be here by a bit of time. No, 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 Annie! I could R here, but I think she's dead. And this is how we do it in the Favelas. I don't really have to base. Dragon's up it is a solo dragon potential. The thing about dragon is you can actually just solo it as little HP as possible on Briar because of how much life steal and how much healing you have in your kit. As you can see, a couple W's in, we're going to be full health. The E wants the full health here. I'm actually getting tripped out by the Swain W. This must be the new skin. It looks so weird. I've never seen Swain W like that before. It looks something, it looks similar to like something Briar would cast. But yeah, once you're doing a jungle camp, you're full health. Pretty much instantly. Here I could cross into Void Grubs really quickly, but I think Silas is such a beta position that it would be hard for him to get away with doing a, a Void Grubs. And most likely I want Zillion to just ward it. And then if I see this guy on it, I'm going to ulti from across the moon. So here I see him on it. So I'm going to think about how I want to ang angle this arm. So here I think he's committing to killing one. So I'm just going to R where he's standing. If Annie walks this way, we're going to one-shot. Here, I'm going to just go on her fast. This is just a quick combo, right? I know she's going to stun me. She has her stun prep ready to go. But I chunked her to like almost a quarter health. Just like that. Here, I think Silas could be on this camp. Not... No, he was over there. But these quick chunks, I E right away because I'm not going in tower. If I don't have E up in that situation, we don't go for that. Because the E is our... You know, we E when we have crowd control about to hit us, right? And we E when we're ready to just reset the fight, right? I'm not going to chase further. I got my W bite off. That's pretty much... Usually, that's like the end of your chunk. Once you do your second W, the bite, you're pretty much saying, like, you're not going to be doing much after that. Your bite does more damage. It heals missing health. It also gives you more range, so you're not going to be hitting much. So here, I'm going to Q and then E right away. I actually missed that. <clears throat> It's hard to get the angle perfect. I'm just going to get the tower and reset here. And this is what I'm talking about. Blade just feels really OP. If I was to say first item, what do you build on Briar? I would say Blade Rune King or Titanic. Lethal Tempo personally has felt the best right now. Mostly because I feel like you do generally lack like a lot of attack speed on her. That it's really hard to... Itemize for. So here I'm going to go into this. I can go. Usually I go like pickaxe plus a sword. If I have R up right now, I would have R'd straight through here. Because I think if I hit anyone here, I would 100% kill. But I don't have it up. I do have it up in 5. But now there's nothing like a tower. The tower is dead. So there's nothing there holding them in position. I'm always... When you want to ulti someone across the map, you have to think about what, what will be holding them in position. What holds them into the slot. Jinx autoing a tower will prevent her, will hold her in that spot. So that's very important to know. And you don't really want to be wasting your ulti. I, I've wasted a few ultis, but you're, you're going to miss them. But you want to make it as hard as possible to miss. You also don't want to be taking huge risk ultis. Sometimes I use it. Sometimes I just use it as close as possible to my opponents. Like, just out of vision range here, I would use potentially an ulti. I would love Zillion to come here, but it's maybe a risky play. I'm going to E here to kind of capitalize on it. Damn, we don't have Zillion ulti. That was too brutal. Alright, I baited my team there a bit. Or did I? 
I don't think. Ooh, a lethality. Sucky Baka. Yeah, I'm very squishy. I can't be making plays like that. Greed is a sin, and I, I did join in on the greed. I cannot kill Jax. Jax does counter my champion quite hard. I need Zillion ult. I rely heavily on Zillion ulti in that situation, especially, which unfortunately I just didn't have up. Hitting R was good, but it wasn't enough for me. The swing cleans up, but I, you don't want to be relying heavily on like your teammate to make up for your mistake. You always want to be the priority in situations like this. I do think he's on Herald, so I think my team is backing up a bit early. So I think they might be on Herald. So I'm just going to finish it here. The name of the game is objectives. You play for objectives. You play for kills and objectives together. I want these kills to amount to us getting like Herald, Dragons, Towers, everything. Winning games, you don't win it through kills. You win it through the objectives you get, especially lower rank. Especially important because you... Kills have much diminishing returns. The idea is you want kills, but you also want other stuff with the kills. I think I kill him here, so he's very, very funny. Team did help, but honestly, I think I had that 1v1. He already kind of used his juice on me. You can only juice up so hard before you're out of juice. You know how, you know how it goes. Here, I think they're on Dragon, but I also want to check. I think Silas on Dragon is illegal. But Annie's here, so I have to watch out. So I'm going to E and reset here. Could actually win this fight here. Damn, I'm way too squishy here, though. Hmm, I think they will die here. <laughs> Zillion 1v1s them. Way too much magic damage, so I'm, now I'm thinking, okay, should I have gone, like, even more and more? I mean, I will buy magic resist later, but... I'm sort of playing as if I'm tanky. I'm not tanky, so I have to play as if I can run them down with a zillion next to me, ideally. I'm not looking for heavy fights. I'm looking for 1v1s or 2v2s at most. These are 3v3s, 4v4s, and that's not good right now because I'm too squishy for heavy fights. I'm mostly looking for short number of fights, 1v1s, 2v2s, or we just group up for a jack, like dragons, for example. I'm okay with like group up fights around dragon. But I, I do have to be careful because I'm very squishy. This is... This build is a bit of a dangerous game when it comes to your life. If you want to be safer with this build, you would just go into like tank your items, like Cleaver. <clears throat> if you don't want to be too squishy. I'm gonna do Dragon here though. Problem is Lulu really ruins my champion. Like many champions, if you play any sort of aggression, Lulu is the ultimate problem against that. So here I'm actually okay with this guy going in. I think we should be able to kill here. Go for Jinx maybe? Yeah. Mm, slow hits. I'm gonna try to heal one W off the minions. You can see how much it heals real quick. Now I'm gonna look for a W in. I'm probably gonna ride the Herald in and use the Herald. Shelly to start the fight. I think Jinx might give me an angle here. Just a flank, you know? A Shelly flank, if you will. That Jax, gone. I obliterate him. Me and Shelly together, unstoppable. I do think we could dive them here if they walk up, but. Have to watch out though. I have E ready, so I was hoping to just get a kill there, a quickie. But unfortunately, the Lulu yet again strikes like she's never struck. So generally, I like to go into like more beefier here. So if I need MR, I go MR. If you want to just stack HP, it's quite good too. This Cleaver third, not bad. Cleaver in general, super broken on Briar, especially with how fast. You're actually able to stack it. 
But also, I find it to not give you that much damage early game, but the scaling of Cleaver is really good. I think going full damage is really bad. So I advise you on going into like more Bruiser. At this point, I don't think going like Lord Doms is necessary. I think you can fulfill your job to like really obliterate people with going into Bruiser. So ideally, my build is going to be like Cleaver, Steric, Steph Sands. If I need MR, I go either Maw or Spear Visage. Sunderous Sky, I don't really build as much anymore. After the nerfs, it doesn't really feel that necessary. You don't really have item slots to really fit it in as well. So what I like to do is just go straight into Cleaver. And if I was to go Titanic build, I would probably have just gone like, you know, into Sterics maybe earlier. Those are generally your core items that you want to kind of build. Here, I just want to one shot Lulu because I actually don't like her. My E in here. Go for the Annie kill. As long as there's no traps here, it should be fine. I'm going to go on Jinx here. W. Oh, I didn't get the healing off. What about enemy team wolf. MVP, by the way, Zillion. Love that ulti. Incredible. Oh. We're going into Cleaver, so we want to build into the Cleaver components. That actually might be game. Somehow, Allow is actually in their Nexus, but I hope this video has been for good information for you to learn the game. The only thing I would change differently, like I said, I think Blade, amazing first item. You can go Titanic. I'll probably do a Titanic video with the build I've been doing next on her. I think it's really strong. I made a lot of blenders mid game by fighting really hard before I had collector. The collector spike is really huge. It would give you a lot of damage to one shot that you otherwise wouldn't have. And that's really what I was lacking. Also taking these sort of higher number fights when I'm squishy. I'm not crazy tanky yet. I need, you know, more time for that. So I should take shorter number fights. I should take 2v2s. I should take 1v1s. I should take uneven fights. I should take 3v1s. I should take like, you know, 3v2s if I have that advantage. You don't want to take even fights and high number fights when you're squishing. Just difficult. Too much damage from more. Every champion that adds to the fight is just more potential damage and CC that could occur to you. You have to understand that and know that it becomes difficult. Jax, my man. I don't think he's not alone. The Swain is not alone, unfortunately. You will suffer for that. And I have R. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to make magic happen. I think I could hit her with it. I think she moves this way. Ooh, got her anyways. Here, we're going to Q right away. I can tank tower for a bit and then flash. But the Annie Tibber is not going to not gonna give you the reason to go. Her build's so bad. But it is tanky. There, yes, it wasn't really necessary to dive under tower, but was it fun? Yes, it was fun. I was hoping to get out of tower range to charge up my E. Would survive if you get out of tower range and then start using your E. You can live in a lot of situations. But if I start to E under tower, I'm going to take another tower shot. So it could be bad. But I do think MR is important or Sterix here. So I'm going to go more and more. I don't think Maul is that bad, especially when you go more of an offensive build. I think Maul is fine. We are throwing a bit. But if you don't throw, then you don't know. And if you don't know, then you don't throw. Do they do Baron is a problem. They do Dragons, okay, but Baron might be a problem. Doesn't look like they're doing Baron, so we have a lot of time, so we just farm up right now. You can run like Frost Attack with this build too, but it's up to you really. We are doing Dragon. We're not really doing Dragon. We're like half doing it. I'm just going to attack the wave here. They have the Annie, the Protector Annie. I wonder if she ultis me. They've been chasing me for way too long. I'm looking for a Jinx, ideally. Ooh. Lulu's fine, too. Oh my god, I need my Zillion, though. Oh, they're not chasing. Okay, that was a bit too much, though. Oh my god, we actually are throwing. No way. Jinx Lulu's online is not good. 
I need my swing. But he might have got chunked out earlier. CC is a problem. It's literally Jinx though, by the way. It is always the Jinx Lulu that reigns supreme. I still think we're going to win, mostly because they can't really deal with us split. If we fight them elsewhere, we don't fight Jinx Lulu head on. Lulu's broken, by the way. I'm surprised it hasn't been nerfed. I hate that champion so much. I should have eat earlier, though, in that situation. I think it would have been much better for me. But we do have to split. We, we don't really want to take them head on. We want Alawi to just be pushing bot wave. They have an open nexus, right? So we really don't have to be doing anything. They're just going to sit in base and just farm and wait for us to fight them. But we really don't have to do all that much. I might just go for mid wave here. I don't think anyone's here, so I should be able to push it fast. I want them to react to Lowey's split. So what we're doing here is waiting, pretty much. Someone's going to go bot. Most likely Jax, which is fine. Maybe she wins one of one. If they all go bot, that's even better because we, we can just do Baron. Somehow it's Jax won't be one her. I think Jax will lose. don't want a hard fight. I want a slow fight. I really want a Lulu though. <laughs> Got her. I'm going to E because I think Sunny is coming. But, oh my god, he's only on. He's only keys. I'm trying. Oh, he got he, he got him. Oh, he got him. He got them all. All right. I mean, I'm good enough. I got the Lulu. Job's finished. Happy. Great. Sterics would have been good this game, too. If you really don't know what to build, you can always go into Sterics as well. It is a bit of a squishy build. Honestly, if it wasn't for Lulu, if they don't have anything but Lulu, you're pretty much able to get away with being squishy, but she's a bit of a problem. I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to... I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck in the game. Good luck in the climb.